Hello, everybody. Welcome. Ah, I'm over here. Welcome to today's stream. It's rock take time, guys. Not goblin time. Yes, I know. You want to see more gobos. But hey, here we are playing some rock take. We're going to continue our uh, our live stream playthrough, obviously. Uh, and yeah, I want to quickly say thank you to Grubduck and Interruptor subbing before I'm even online here. Welcome in, guys. Thank you very much for the support. You rock. Thank you. Raziel in the house. Grüß dich, Bada. Hallo. Silicon Soul as well. We have Bounty in the house. We have Elcom Soft. Uh, Ziggy is there. Isn't the Goblin some sort of medium tank? Uh, I think, yeah, you're right there. Yes, absolutely. Um, but yeah, here we are, guys. We have a bunch of people. Data, transfer Data transfers as well. Chandala, thank you so much for the 20 months. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> and Baba Garnish as well. <laughs> Instant hype train. Let's go. Everybody. Thank you, guys. It's very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Time for some heavy metal rock and roll with a dash of Daka Daka and PPC. Let's do it. So we are here. Um, we have the Wolverine Hunter Killer. Interesting. I completely forgot what we were running. I would say we're just gonna go ahead and repair everything. I think the last time I remember, the last thing I remember is us actually trying to go to a heavier planet, so we can have a higher challenge here. And what I want to do today is obviously it is in the title. I want to see if I can get a heavy mech today. So we are one ton under, and that for the reason that we didn't have anything else to put in the mech yet. But this Wolverine is pretty good, so let's bring it to the battlefield. Let's see. Do we have a duel? A duel would be a great way to test the mech out. There is... Ooh, we got two of them, huh? Ah, let's go for it. Uh... Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we are going into a two skull duel uh, and we're gonna bring, I mean, the hatchet man would be fantastic for a duel situation, right? Because it has firepower and the ability to chop enemies to pieces. Is that good enough? We can actually just bring the party truck. That's the thing. Maybe I should, but I want to check out the Wolvie. Let's go. Who is the best Wolverine pilot right now? We have a good chunk of missiles on the guy. As well as, I think, Flamers? And the VR pod and mag shots? Oh yeah, by the way, these hotshot Flamers, do they need ammo? Internal ammo. Gotcha. So, no, we don't need it. We don't need it. Um, I need a dedicated pilot for this guy. Oh, you were pretty good on the Dervish, actually. You, like, you have the evasion ignore as well. Yeah, yeah, let's go monster. We get two more two more activations with the Dervish, and he's getting the Missile Evasion Ignore and Missile Accuracy bonus. I shouldn't do it. Uh, we need somebody else. What's what's our worst mech currently? I think it's the Phoenix Hawk, correct? Honestly, I think the answer is yes. So who was on the Phoenix Hawk all the time? Was it Zed? Urban mech. Was it Hardcore? No. Was it Happy? No. Who's the Phoenix pilot? Was it... Thorbjorn? You are the Phoenix. Okay. What affinity would we get? Ace pilot and multi-tracker? I don't even care. Let's go. Here, have a Wolverine. Let's do it. <laughs> Erby for the win. Um, um, not in this one. Yes, but no. <laughs> yes, but no. Uh, why does the Wolverine not have head armor? Um, it's a bug. It's a visual bug. I think it has. I hope so, because if not, we are in trouble. We are in big trouble then. It might be that there is some kind of equipment that's in the head that gives us a bit of extra, and that extra is kind of overflowing, so it's getting into the negatives or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Harlequin in the house. Thank you, you beautiful person. Thank you for the seven month resub. Appreciate it. Yeah, I forgot to put on the helmet. That's right. Hey, Skunk. How's it going, man? Yeah, the stream just started for you guys on YouTube. Um, a bunch of people are asking, how much did I miss? Um, I'm like literally like five minutes in. Six minutes and 17 seconds. That's what on, what's on my timer right now. So yeah, uh, the question is, how is it going? Um, I am extremely sleepy and dizzy right now. Like a bit, I feel like a bit dazed. Uh, and that's because I started taking uh, antidepressants. Um, it's the seventh day now that I, um, I'm, I'm on the meds. Um, and they, they kind of punch my, punch my brain pretty hard. And that makes me extremely sleepy. So I kind of hope that the side effects will wear off over time. It's like 
what they say. Um, and in about one or two weeks, I should get the first results. So I kind of hope that everything is going to get better in my brain. And uh, yeah, this is uh, how I feel right now. But I'm very, I'm very excited about it because I, I'm really hoping that it makes me feel better in general, you know. So again, Wolvie has Wolvie has the DNI card, not the DNI, but the uh, virtual reality port for a lot of a lot of evasion. They make you drowsy, but it's getting better over time. Yeah, it's something I have to just push through right now. I get, I guess. So far, do you feel like they're helping? Um, no, not at all. Uh, again, the effect sh uh, should kick in in about two weeks. Um, I don't feel anything yet, except for being, yeah, drowsy. Um, so we have a Euron Warrior, by the way. A big Ballistic on the arm. I want to go Inferno on this guy. Let's do it. Hello, Mr. Ferret. Hi. Welcome in. Now, do we go aggressive? Oh, I could, I could take the high ground here. Hmm. See, I don't necessarily want to run into the into the rough terrain. At the same time, it gets me closer for a better hitch. Yeah, let's go. I want to also ignite the forest around the Huron Warrior. So let's go. We have a heat plan. It is the best subversary. That's 69 months. Oh, I realize it now. Thank you, Ferret. Thank you so much, man. Then he says, mine took three weeks to work and it sucked. Like the three weeks before that or when they started working? Was that <laughs> restream title? I feel dirty, but I actually just bought my first heavy mech in a shop. <laughs> no, that's not how we do it here in Barra land. No, no, no. Um, Yeah, let's get aid evasion. Uh, we're gonna stop shooting infernos and start shooting regular damage into this guy. Problem is... Actually, I wanted to say he's cooling down, but he's not. <laughs> Excuse me. Is it just our hotshot flamers who keep him hot? Or is it just his bad heat management? Look at these hotshots! They're doing the job! Three weeks before it started working, could barely sleep. Mm, that's also a thing I... Uh oh Also a thing I have. Sleep. <laughs> oh my god, so many subs coming in here. We have Harlequin with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, Harlequin. And then there is Dentine with a prime sub. Fresh subscriber here. Welcome in. Uh, enjoy the emotes. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much, man. Okay, we go for a kick. Should probably be the kill here. Uh, we'll see. Made him unsteady. It is the dance of death that we are doing right now. Just trying to get around each other. Uh-oh. Opening up the back armor. Oh, and we have the double. All right, another kick. I know, I'm not getting any evasion out of that, but still, I believe it's good. This warrior also has an axe. Come on, come GP on. Smile. Guys, I think we got an engine crit. Sane, thank you for the second month. Appreciate it. That was, uh, yeah. <laughs> GG? So early? Mission I mean, yeah. Data we did it. And another one. <laughs> we have a uh, Senator Warrior in the house as well with a three month resub. Thank you so much for that. Guys, you're very generous. Thank you. Started the first playthrough with the Hatchet Man. Unfortunately, unfortunately, one of the actuators increasing the carry capacity got destroyed and now it's broken. Oh, I feel you, man. I feel you. When you cannot carry your, your main weapon, that's kind of a shame. So, let's see what we get out of here. Oh, it was a thumper. Interesting. Interesting. This is a ballistic range fire control system. It's pretty good for artillery, I believe. <laughs> this is still 67 going. 67 months and still enjoying every video and stream. Two more. Two more Cultosaurus. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Kaut. Welcome in. So, Armored Cowl is not bad, but it's also not great. Uh, I could take the Thumper for a bit of money. Wait, never mind. I mean, Guardian ECM. 
I think it's the best thing that we can take next to the hatchet, possibly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fine. <laughs> we survived. That's important. That was a quick mission, right? So we get some money, we get a little bit of stuff, and uh, we're good to go for, I would say... How do we go for a regular fight? That's my question here. Also, how do we get our hands on more Inferno ammo? I think this guy has some absolute um, uh, possibilities here. And we have one more ton on this guy that is open. So another ton of Inferno ammo, or maybe even Acid ammo, would be fantastic. But honestly, I would love to put more Infernos on the guy. What is the best way to assemble Phoenix Hawk? What skills should the pilot have? That's a question. I would say, mm, take your Phoenix Hawk. Um, you you put like no weapons on it because you will sell it on the market and then get a Shadow Hawk instead. That's how you build a Phoenix Hawk, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the Phoenix. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Make it melee. It has two little little hard points, or like like full skirmish, long range. Give it a pair of snub nose PPCs. Done, and then probably uh, escapist evasion. Just scoot around, jump jets, stuff like that. You found Decker. Two deployments, then he died. Classic Decker. Ah, classic. <laughs> uh. I think I would play it towards the mobility aspect of the Phoenix Arc with some serious, like, pinpoint damage weapons. Snub Nose PPCs comes to mind. Two of them. The Lamb is fantastic. But there as well, I would probably go for Escapist, High Evasion, stuff like that. Alright, so we got the Wolvie. Mm, let me take a look at the store. Maybe we find some short range missile ammo here. Mm hmm. Data transfer complete. Half a ton of stuff. Bra beer, bra beer, bra beer. Bra, Reese, that is a tier three sub. I recognize. Thank you so much for the 56. Thank you for the big, big support here and long time as well. Don't take the meds, go to therapy. Wait, what? Change diet, don't take meds, go to therapy, take a walk. Uh, skunk, that's all, all pretty good. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm in therapy, but I'm on a, on a huge plateau. Nothing works right now. I am not making any progress. And I think I need the meds to actually get to a baseline where I can operate. And that's the thing. That's kind of like my plan right now. I don't feel good taking them. Gotta tell you. I'm kind of a guy who... Yeah. Who doesn't want to be... Um, reliant on these things, you know? Listen to the doctor. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying what I'm doing right now. Just giving you my perspective. I'm not here to get swayed. The value SRM ammo bin, you can buy. Yeah, but it's value SRM. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> no, no. Uh, okay, so here we go. We're gonna play another mission, and it might be the tier three. Um. Braver. Braver's got some problems, huh? We need to do something about it. We're gonna help him forget his troubles. He gains drunk. One offensive push accuracy is actually what we want. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Let's go. This is good. This is good. Oh man. That is amazing on this guy. All right, all right, all right. Um, I, I'm gonna show you something in a second. Oh god, I hope that we can get it done here. This is this is really risky, guys. Data transfer complete. But I want to do it again. So Braver has the. Oh, can I see it here? Uh, he has. Yeah, cannot see his quirks, right? Anyways, uh, he has some OP accuracy bonuses already. So offensive push is gonna be really good on him. Okay, let's go, Torbjorn. We're trying. Yeah, I know I'm underweight. This is, again, very, very risky. Let's see if we can get it done. If I'm running into a heavy mech, mm, I'd be probably in trouble. We got Asmandias in the house. Thank you so much for the six months streak with the 19 total here. Thank you so much. How's your day, man? It's very nice of you. Thank you. What's the best overheat mech? Overheat or overheated mech? The King Crab. 
because tasty crab legs. Honestly, any mech that you can just bolt Infernal Missiles on, I think this is the best way to overheat. Infernal Missiles and then one Plasma Cannon to keep their cooling down and you have, you have people under control. I was actually running, uh, I think it was a Stormcrow with four or six, I think it was six SRM6s with Inferno stuff. It's, it was so good back in the days. Command interface initiated. Thank you, Daferi, thank you for your words. Yeah. Oh, the Inferno MMS. They are also pretty good. <laughs> and if you get the... J Jamie was his name, right? The Jamie Rogue Tech pilot? That that guy is just crazy. Because he's generating one heat per impact on the enemy. And micro-missiles shoot a lot of missiles. Ah. Sandra Killbox is a stealthy. Stealthy woman. Mm, let's turn on the DNI. And get into cover. I think we're gonna get ambushed here. So I need to know where the enemies are coming from. Oh. We figured it out. What are you? You just a spider? Huh. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna keep jumping. This is our best defense that we can muster here. And I would say, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a turn. See what's coming. We have to accept that early damage. Oh boy. Side attack. Ah, that's a good attack. Alright, and he has some heat on him already, so we're gonna go in with the Infernal plan once more. Let's see. Oh yes! Oh yes! Nice. Um... I will reserve once more, because he cannot move that far anymore, thanks to the heat. That lowers... <laughs> yes. His evasion. Oh boy. How do we do it? I will go for a kick. It's a bigger spider. It's an Omni spider or something like that, right? I'll do it like that. Splunk. Try to open him up. But also maintain the heat on him. I'm here for some crit kills. Huh? Didn't quite get it. Shut down. No, but <laughs> what is wrong with these guys? Is Inferno SRM so good now? I want to kick you, but I cannot do it from the low ground here. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Ah, uh, anyway, go for the side. Maybe we can kick the legs from underneath the mech. That would be a great thing. Where are those rockets? Possibly, yeah. Two missile launchers gone. Ah, oh, punch out. Oh, let's go. Ah, by the way, I should turn on the, um, the combat log, right? Clan mortars are also awesome, if you can get them. With the heat and everything. I don't know, I haven't been playing mortars in the last season or not in this season. So maybe we should take a look at them again. I suggest finding a Hema fencing club. Learning to swing a sword and sparring is a great stress relief, I can imagine. Yeah. Okay, we got some internal damage, but nothing happened. Actually, we got an injury. Weird. Disassemble! Tandem Rocket 5. Handheld MRM. This is a rocket pack. We got some battle fists. Ooh. That's a proto heatsink kit. Oh, this guy was filled with goodies. Oh my god, what do we take here? Talons are pretty good. Mm. Mm. The death from above dream. It's still here. But we shouldn't. I don't know, I think we still have some of our mechs which are in need of an XL engine upgrade. There's a proto heatsink kit which is just fantastic. I don't know. What would you take, chat? Well, I'm like torn between these four items. 
<laughs> all of them are good. Absolutely fantastic. Battle Fist Mark III is a 20% punch damage multiplier as well. Mm, okay, but uh, we are going physical. We are going physical here. Talons for the kick. Yeah, you're right. I'll take it. Hey, we even got the Proto Heatsink. That's very good. Um, and we might want to keep those improved jump jets. Okay, Proto Heatsink it is. The XL gives more power for more max. That's true. But I'm not entirely sure if we already have enough Heatsinks for everybody. Anyways, um, it allows us to build something unique and specific. Right now I'm running, I think, a bunch of double heat sinks, uh, which is okay for missile and ballistic weapons, but as soon as we want to go the energy route, the protos are needed. It's not a clan XL, that's right, yeah, it was an inner sphere one. So side torso destruction means mech destruction. It is... it's debatable. I think there's not too much damage flying around now, so we can probably save ourselves when we are getting into trouble. Ha! <laughs> Two days, perfect. Okay, let's play like a real mission. And Thorbjorn is out for a bunch of days. That's a shame. Okay. So there's that. Which means we need to bring another person in. The question is, who do we bring? I like the commander bonus. Really do. Oh, and you... Oh, wait. You can you can run labs, huh? What about Ingvild? Also commander. She's also lucky. Oh. Huh. Punisher, I don't care. I think I'm gonna start training Floki, because as soon as we get our hands on a lamb, we want somebody who is able to run this thing. So welcome aboard, Floki. Let's go. Into the command center. We want to try to go for the higher tier ones here. And um, I mean, two and a half plus assassination. Uh, it's a freaking cicada thing. Uh, it's not good. An urgent meta. Extremely time-sensitive mission, remains of a decimated Curitan company. I get... Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. We wanted to grind affinity for the Draconis Combine. Let's not play against them. That was an automation here. Uh, three out of 12 is fine. All right. So, we'll bring the Wolvie. we we'll bring the Dervish, which is already running an XL. All right. Hatchetman. Phoenix, yay or nay? I think I'm taking Irby and the party truck. So, we have Hardcore here. Braver on the Urban Mag. The party truck is happy. <laughs> As always. Alright, Monster on the Dervish. And then we need somebody who is able... It might be Zed. Zed is pretty good already. But he is the most boring Mech Warrior ever. Yeah, I need to do it at some point, so might as well do it now. Alright then. Let's go in. Rep the bull V. Uh, it was automatically done. Can't wait for more Goblin Stone episodes. I'm so invested in the series. Keep up the good work. Yeah, man, me too. I love that game. Um, but yeah, I don't know if today I'm able to get an, an episode out or maybe tomorrow. Um, I haven't been playing yet. Um, maybe I can play a little bit after stream or so. We'll, we'll see. So, as I said, it's something that I'm gonna play at my own pace. It's uh, stuff that I just enjoy and I want to share it with you. And I don't want to push myself and pressure myself so that I'm not losing the interest. Therefore, um, yeah, maybe tomorrow. Maybe today. We'll see. Banshee's fail sub. Thank you for the prime. Fresh subscriber here as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome in Banshee. Oh, actually Banshee's fail. Uh, Mechanized Soul says, I find it much harder to use energy weapons compared to the previous patch. Nerf to exchanger, heat bank, and so on. The kits make it more difficult. Uh, so, ballistic win, as always. The exchanger got nerfed. Did it? Really? Alright, there's nothing like, uh, like double plus and triple plus anymore, right? You only have the thermal exchanger now. I mean, yeah. Proto heat sinks, that's the way still, I guess.
<laughs> really like the Goblin Stone series. Nice to see you enjoy something not Battletech related. I've enjoyed all videos a lot. Thank you so much. This reassurance actually is, is, is really nice. It helps me. Because I, I, I see the numbers and compared to my Battletech stuff, the goblins are like way down below. And I'm like, okay, are people really enjoying this? Like, is this stuff that I should just play on my own or... But yeah, it's uh, it's cool to see these comments. Thank you. Um, sure. Let's drop here. On the high grounds. So we have a decimated enemy lance. Let's see how this is going. These should be damaged. He has a crossbow, a griffin, a wolverine, and a rook. What is a rook? You look funky. Are you running arrows? Or thunderbolts? What is that? Holy crap. Alright. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump around like crazy. Kablam. Um, Irby can also jump and Irby should. Let's go down here. Brace it up. Right. We have the ping. But you know what? I want to be defensive first round. Yes. Like, completely defensive. Alright. Wait. Like that? I guess? We'll see. Yormundur, thank you. Very fun. Hope they bug fix so you can get your Shaman Guild uh, or removed uh, eventually. Uh, they actually put a big patch out, um, I don't know, yesterday, the day before or so. Um, you can now auto-arrange your lair. Uh, I did it. Um, I tried it and um, yeah, it, um, it worked. But the, the, the guild is gone. That's the thing. All right, so the crossbow. Crossbow is not that dangerous, if I remember correctly. Griffin, I don't really care. What is that? What's the Rook? Rook has 820 armor points, so it's a medium mech. Gotcha. Um, hmm. We hold. That's what we do. Could charge the guy. But charging is not what I want. All right, fine. <laughs> let's, let's go. Thank you for the follows, by the way. Thank you very much. Do I attack? No, I don't attack it yet. We don't really have a hit chance, so let's go with that. Get wrecked, Mr. Crossbow. LRMs. Yeah. Follow up on the damage that we have dealt. Buy everything. That's one down. Easy. What period are you playing? I'm playing the online map, so we're playing... I don't know where we are, honestly. I should also register for it. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Uh, let's wait. Let's give him a turn. I want them to come closer. Drill monster! With the prime! Right after the follow! That's very nice. The double here. Thank you. That's the dream, man. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I had a hard time watching all the Goblin Stone videos. Managed to watch till Halfling Boss, but I really enjoy them. Also, the excitement for the game is so nice to see. Keep watching. It's more stuff coming. Disco laser. Uh, I kind of want to go for the right side attack on the Rook. Don't care about the Griffin too much. Hey, Hellfrog. Welcome in, man. And uh, Hot Rod Lincoln dropped uh, $4.99. Uh, super thanks on the YouTubes. Thanks for the content. When my dog Titus Titus died in November, you helped me get through my dark moments. No way. The pain comes and goes, but you still do. Goblins unite. Thank you so much, man. I mean, whenever somebody says something like that, I'm like, wow. I, as a person, have an impact on other people's lives. Crazy. Thank you. Um, and yeah, I'm doing my best. Okay, okay, okay. Um, the rook has still not done a thing. Let me try to find out. Oh, this guy is filled with energy. Which is good and bad. 
bad because it's dangerous. Good because we can possibly overheat the guy. Okay. Irby to the front. Like, right over here. Oh, yes, we have the mines as well. Oh, that's gonna be good. It keeps them in place. 11, 11, 11, 11. Yes. There it is, the hot rod. Thank you. Pew, pew. Thanks for your content. When Maybe my dog Titus died in guy? November, you helped me get through my dark moments. The pain comes and goes, so you still do. Hang in there, Goblins buddy. Goblins unite. Hang in there. Yeah, I think we're gonna just go for it. So, we didn't get the kill, but we got the knockdown. That's something. That's the side also down. Yeah. yeah, I think it's the better way to get it done. What do you want? All right. What's the hatchet man gonna do? Maybe we can push the griffin. On my way, commander. Oh, another injury coming down. Guns on target. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Arby is gonna finish the Rook. So we're gonna use our LRMs to finish somebody else. And I think since we have an amazing hit chance here on the Wolby, we're gonna take that. Also, heavy PPC coming. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Actually, we need to take it down quickly. Amazing. Uh oh. Okay. That's uh, that's gonna be interesting salvage. I think we got an engine crit out of this guy. Bolt on AMS is doing the job. Yeah, I think in terms of like melee damage, we are not doing a lot here or anything. <laughs> not destroyed. We got the core crit and the uh, the gyro is down. Yeah, but he is still alive. He still has his PPC. He could get the lucky shot on me. Okay. Okay, we're good. Man, we're making so much progress today. So many quick missions. And now I jinxed it, huh? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. Um, get in here. I will only shoot my Infernos because I'm looking for the crits. I'm interested in what he can do. Maybe we take him. What do you want? Okay. Absolutely. Fire away! An anonymous user gifting 10 tier 1 subs to the community on Twitch. What? Whoever you are, my sincerest thanks. And uh, you guys, you just got gifted left and right here. Oh, holy crap, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Amazing. Thank you, guys. But yeah, the Disco is the pirate tech. That's the thing. It is, uh, it's a rogue tech specialty here. At this point, I would say we're just gonna go all in, right? Data transfer complete. Data transfer complete. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, no Inferno. We're going in for the kill here. Data transfer complete. Unsteady. Can we follow up? Mm, this might be it. Data transfer complete. What's going on on YouTube chat, guys? Keep it civilized, please. You don't have to agree with everything. If you cannot find an agreement, then just stop it, please. Okay. I mean, everybody can have their opinion, but as soon as it's getting heated up, I, I think I have to take action, and I don't want to take action. So just let the topic drop, whatever it is. Come on, I'm not your mom. Okay, finish this. Oh, 
All right, so we got we got the weapons. Ammo explosion as well. We actually might get to punch the guy. Uh, unless Irby is gonna take care of it. I could just go for it. Bop, 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 bop. Perfect. Ah, ah. Yes. Yeah, let's get hardcore the kill. Uh, we are obviously going in with everything we got. And honestly, I think it's fine if we destroy the whole of the Griffin completely, chop it into pieces. This is my last resort. I, I'm happy about that. Since I don't want any of these parts, it's fine. Mech destroyed. Good. Another mission under our belt. That was number three, counting the two duels before then. It was Primitive Engine, was it? <laughs> Hi, Sniper. Man, we need those Disco Lasers uh, on our max. Having, I don't know, an array of ten of them would be fun, I guess. Cool. So, oh god, here we go. What the hell... Are you? I cannot pick any of these, sadly. As a whole. Alright, we're gonna do that then. Heavy PPC, large laser tronel. Medium X pulse is fine. Multi track fire control system. I don't know. Don't get. We don't get any accuracy bonuses. <sighs> Oh, this is bad. This is all bad salvage. Like, real bad salvage. What are we doing with this? Holy crap. Another SRM-6, maybe. Oh, I guess. We'll take the heavy peep. Sure. The X-Pulse is fine. Regular PPC. Oh, never mind. These are three picks. <laughs> Already. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the very least, we got some money out of that. That's good. What do you like more? Rock 2 Risk or Rock 2 Pirate? I would say the Risk one. The Pirate with the Misfire Chance is kind of nasty. And I got some experience, that's right, yeah. The Rock 2 Risk is ha hard to handle with the high uh, recoil, but um, it's more reliable. Alright. So that was the... What was that? The Three Skull Mission, right? That means, well, maybe we should go for a little bit more than that, right? Maybe three and a half already. Looking for the heavies. And we didn't make any kind of, like, huge picks here. So, upgrading... I cannot think of anything that we want to upgrade. Alright then. All work orders complete. Ah, stop it here. We have nothing in terms of engineering going right now, and that is a thing I need to change. Training modules too. Hell yeah. 15 days, super cheap. Gain more experience per day. Love it. That's super duper good. Have you checked the hiring hall? I think we did. Epoxy. He's an all-rounder, but he's kind of bad. Orcus, a mech warrior. Also kind of bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna take any of these guys. So, um... Yeah, we go in directly. More missions, get things done. Let's play a blackout. Let's play for maximum salvage here, because that's good salvage. And we can only bring... 400 tons. <laughs> we are way under that. Okay, then. Thorbjorn's still out. Fine. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. But pirate rocks are crazy as they have a multiplier times 10 on shots. But here's the thing. When you make an attack, you want the attack to be as impactful as possible, usually. When, when thinking about efficiency. Um, having 100 damage in one instance of damage, when you have the accuracy to go with it, is better because you could take an enemy's. Uh, it's better than like better um, a 100 instances of Thanks one damage. Heat. Love Goblin Stone. 
when you when you I'm coming back to that in a second. So when you when you think about like I can deal 100 damage pinpoint and maybe rip an arm off or a leg off or a, a side torso, you cripple the enemy and get value, massive value out of it because you cripple their cooling, their damage output, their their everything. Um, you could take some key components, electronics, ECM stuff, and take it away by having that big pinpoint damage. You could even go for like an offensive push and kill the pilot or something like that. It's possible. With the, with the rate of fire, you have reliability, but you will spread your damage all over the place. So it's kind of like a like a give and take. And I think it is technically more efficient having big pinpoint and hitting your targets. That's, that's the problem with the times 10. But yeah, you have massive crit chance. That's right. It's a completely different approach. But when it comes down to disabling your enemy uh, with a single attack, like in a vacuum, you are fresh, both of you, and you want to grind through the armor and get directly to the internals and ideally rip the structure away. Then pinpoint damage is better, technically. We have Maki in the house here. Better in your hands than in Bezos. Thanks, keep, uh, thanks heaps. Love Goblin Stone. Nice, nice. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Thanks for the 15 months. And Muffin Top Zombie has also subbed. Thank you, guys. You're so amazing. Thank you so much. It's long loading time here. Are we in for a treat? Are we going to get some nice enemies here? Like instant blocking lands, plus support lands, plus everything. Uh, uh, uh. You missed the heavy MRMs. Was there a time where they existed? Because I cannot remember. Hey, Death Hunter. How's my D&D going? Slow. Slow. Because I'm taking care of my health right now, um, I'm, I'm kind of skipping... Um, or how to say it? I'm pausing a group currently. And there's another one where we couldn't schedule. So the eternal enemy, it's, it's just there. Uh, it's springtime, people have plans now, the LARP season began, and as a result, I I basically have two groups less than I used to. But it's, it's okay. I was very fond of them. Maybe? Can't remember. My, my brain. I have no memory. So we got some friends, that's good. Cavalry. Nice. Praula with an SRM4 and LRM15. And two medium lasers. What else we got? That's a Maxim. Nice. That's 25 LRMs plus two machine guns. Alrighty then. Let's keep going. Let's just do it. In motion, Commander. God, this, this voice is so sexy. This is, can I marry the voice, please? It's so good. <laughs> okay. We have two. Wait. Purple is pilot command aura, right? Is that true? Yeah. The purple circle. That's really nice. Okay. Wait, there's another guy here. It's... No, wait, that's my party truck. Do we have only... Three? No. Prowler. Good. Cavalry. Yes. Hetzer. Double LRM-15. My god, we have so much missile support. That is amazing. Alright, let's get our people in there. Command aura. But medium turrets. Ah, yes. Light sniper turret. Sniper turret. Thumper turret. These turrets are actually getting stronger now. We are in a higher tier. I can feel it. LRM's best weapons for the AI, hands down. I agree. Completely. Yeah. Because sometimes they just do wacky maneuvers. <laughs> and don't get line of sight, for I don't know what reason. Moving. Uh, still not there. Alright, we have to push a little further. Uh, let's see. I really do wonder when the heavy mechs spawn. In the patch notes of this current season's big patch, um, there was an announcement that the mid-game is drawn out a little bit more. Um, so, 
it could be that we will find heavies only in four to five skull missions, and then beyond that we will see assault max. What's going on here? Nothing is going on. Oh. Moving. This is not what I signed up for. I'm here for salvage, guys. Give me my loot. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. If you make good use of uh, tag and narc, AI LRM support is even better. Mm. I think a narc would be really nice for our setup here since we have um, the Wolverine now set up with short range missiles and we have the long range missiles on the Dervish. That's pretty good. In motion, Commander. I can see myself inverting those, by the way. Because the Wolvie only has three missile hard points. Actually, no, never mind, he has four. Okay, I'll take it back. So. Both setups are viable. Okay. There we go. So wait, we have to, yeah, we have to go up here. I don't know. Has anybody ever seen this base being the second part of it? Or is it always the top one? Would be cool if there was like a like a mix up. Okay. Could be that we are ready in one round. Uh, again, hashtag quick mission here. The high skull ones can introduce more variables. Okay. Okay. I want to start the fight. Let's get in there. Still not? What? Oh, we have to actually get into the base. They changed the trigger zone. Used to be this tree line. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, then. One more round. It's always the top one, says Flake on Twitch. Gotcha. All right. So, we'll take our headshot yes. man. Make a jump for eight evasion yes, right into the middle. Unidentified battle mech lands. The base has been put under quarantine. Leave area now. Leave us. What now? Oh, they attack us? Cool. <laughs> That's, oh, everything explodes. That's a way to get a mech out of a mech bay. By destroying the building around it. Hollander with an arrow. Oh boy. Trebuchet. Alright. And a fire starter with an LB-5. That's the Omni fire starter. Cool. And there's also... Ooh... Ooh, a clan fire starter. I would like the plasma cannon. That is interesting, guys. Uh, I'll put my ECM to active. Oh, crap. Was that the hatchet man that I just controlled? I really hope so. <laughs> okay, dervish, move back. Get into a guarded position. Herbie. Sure. Jump. Mm, and then the disco truck. Okay, so the active fight begins now. Let's do it. Maybe the fire starter even has a clan XL. Possibly. I need to know where the plasma cannon sits. Huh. Let's give him a turn. They have spawn protection. You can open up. Or you can initiate. Coming. Hollander. Oh. Arrow on the tank. Kleiner Gruß aus Aheiligen. Ha! Papua, thank you. Thank you so much. Dankeschön. Um. We want to get out of that arrow. This is um, a difficult choice now. I'm gonna hold here. Hold up. I have a battle plan. Don't hit my friend. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. We want the fire starter to move and then I want to overheat the overheater so that I can get his overheat stuff and overheat other people. It's kind of fast though. Trying to flame my Irby. Oh, and he succeeded. More or less. Ah, ah, he's getting hot himself. What is it already? I like that. That's a charge attack. I don't want a charge attack right now. Let's go ahead and uh, move around. 
I know I could get in his bag, but then my bag would be open against the other guys. I'm not gonna do that. Let's go physical and do it from here. Hey, hold on. Though. Take this. Ooh, nice. The leg. Okay. He's down. What are we doing with this? There's a potential error on the loot table here. Moin, Bra. Moin. Moin, Chad. Hi, Torwald. Grüß dich. Danke für die fünf Monate. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna hold my dervish. There's no need to do anything with it yet. Hmm. I'd be very happy to get this fire starter's equipment. So what we probably want to do is take his legs from underneath his butt. And then maybe pick the whole thing. We have four out of 19 salvage rights. Should be possible if we double leg him. I cannot get there. Not in time, but maybe next round. So what we do is the following. We will attack with Inferno. More heat on the guy. And yes, we dealt a good chunk of leg damage already. Okay, so the plasma is on the side torso. Where's the plasma cannon? In the center torso. Okay. XL clan, endo composite. That's that's a lot, man. Ooh. Interesting. So, Disco Truck is gonna hunt. And I think we're gonna go for the... Hmm. Hmm. Alright. For you, my friend. <laughs> this is so much damage! God, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. You, my friend, wanna try to take down the Hollander? If that is at all possible, shoot six times and go for it. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Just massive damage to the side and he's down. Stomp the head! No, not here, not now. Okay, intercept. Fire away. I think we're gonna win this. The question is, how much do we get out of here? This is so awkward. Why is it so easy? I really feel like as soon as we get, get, uh, go like half a skull higher, it's gonna be really tough. All right, that's because the defenses are coming online as well. Holy crap. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Prince. Thank you so much. Hi, Barra. Love from South Africa. Greetings. Quick question. Have you ever noticed that the Annihilator kinda looks like the Geth from Mass Effect? The Geth? The Annihilator and the Geth? Hold up. How do the Geth look? Uh... I mean... Uh... I mean, yeah? Kind of? So, no, but thanks for pointing out, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> very nice of you. Oh, let's go over here again. Okay, back into action. What, what do we have? Uh, light LRM turret. Sniper turret. I think that thing needs to go first. Standard LRM. Uh, there's somebody else somewhere, right? No? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. What do we do with our auto cannon? I don't know. Let's go over here. Again, my hatchet man is kind of too slow to actually throw himself into the fight. So melee is currently not really an option. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Get closer. Attack the fire starter. The LBX is already crit, so let's make it go away. Hmm, not quite. Not quite. Got a medium laser, though. That's fine. Alright, Irby follows up on the turret. Absolutely. We want to get some value here. A 
All right. And yes, it is only three turrets. What is the sniper turret like? It's a PPC and two machine guns. Ah. Uh, the peep is nasty. Could be nasty. Oh boy, and that's a headshot. Lucky for us, we ignore the injury. Yeah. My hatchet man needs the DNI activated. I thought I had it, but maybe it was the DNI on another person. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. We're getting doubled up on the flank. That's not good. But at the very least, we can now go for another kick attack here. Sure. Let's try. Again, get the fire starter. Ah. <sighs> Eat him up! We just oh, we are about to destroy an arm. That's not what I want. I think we have to just go and just punish him with kicks. Oh no. Yeah, and then AI comes in and says, I'm gonna rescue you! Hold up, I'll destroy them! <laughs> cool, kill Firestarter of FS9OG, please. Would be very nice. Blam? All right. One down. It might really be that our AI is taking our salvage away. That's good. That's what we need. This is double LRM 15. Oh no. Yeah. And that's Irby getting killed. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. So, Irby, turn around. That's very important now. <laughs> we go here. Um, I'm not gonna drop the mines. It doesn't make any sense. But this turret needs to go. It's good enough. Man, I really just want to regularly kick this guy. And not deal any damage, if you know what I mean. And that's what we do. So, I know that we only have two Inferno shots. Cool. Could be that we make him punch out. These early game, early-ish game pilots, they have low panic thresholds. We'll see. Nah. Yeah! <laughs> exactly what I'm here for. Perfect. So yes, we leave whatever that is, the Tribichi, on the sidelines because I want to get the sniper turret down now. And then we go for the LRM turret and everything is gonna be fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got this in the bag. What is it already? What is it already? Alright. On my way, Commander. Let's do it. I mean DNI, yes, I could turn it on. At the same time, I could just not. <laughs> Makes no difference. <laughs> not anymore. Let's see. Is this a double heavy peep? I think, yeah, the quick sell. Oh, not heavy peep. Um, or maybe it is a heavy PPC quick sell. Or, this guy is dangerous, actually. This is what I want to say. It has two big weapons. But. We have the party going on. Here we go. Hmm. Not a kill. Oh boy. Well, we're close. Okay. Random question. If a pilot ejects from a burning mech, does the damage stop or can the mech be destroyed by fire over time? So, first of all, fire doesn't deal, like, raw damage to mechs. And secondly, if a mech is incapacitated, it is a wreck and is not affected by anything anymore. You can drop artillery on the thing and it doesn't matter. So here we go offensive. For the sake of pushing him back. We missed every every single shot. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Go here. Attack him. At this point, I just want to destroy that thing. And honestly, I want to destroy it as efficiently as possible. Or unefficiently, actually. 
Just get every single bit and bop away. Like, just destroy as much as we can. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Hitch is kind of garbage. Yeah. Got an arm. What is it already? We need... We need the um, sensor lock ability so bad on this one. Because you can see it here. Uh, the, the stealth of it all is kind of nasty. So happy. Let's go. Is that it? It is. Is the ultra light rifle worth it? It is extremely light if you have multiples like we have on our urban mech. I would say, yeah. Uh, I mean, we are running a 30 tonner with how many? Three, four of them? No, we have three of them. And it kind of works. It's pretty good damage output. The problem is, you gotta manage the recoil. And if you can't, I don't think it's worth it. But we have the special pilot, which has a, an amazing recoil reduction by base, and he's just. he just doesn't care. It's extremely efficient per ton, yeah, but super close range, high recoil, it needs special ammo, uh, it's kind of... Eh, eh. That's the one we want, huh? Come sweet double plus. That's really nice. Totem sensor. Negative 10% company resolve cost. Stacks up to three times. Okay. Is that the one we wanted? No, it's not. No, 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 no. It's not the one. It's the other one that we wanted. Uh, oh, we cannot take it by one pick. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. No. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let me take a look at this dude. Standard cockpit and stuff. Okay, double heatsink, clan XL. I mean, we're gonna take the good stuff anyways, right? <laughs> Disassemble. Let's go. So, Clan ER Medium. We could. Um, plas plasma Cannon Man. It's a 3 ton item, only one slot. It deals 25 heat damage and reduces, no, increases the enemy's heat generation by 30%. It's really good. So if they want to fire, it costs them even more. We'll take it. Composite is not bad either. We'll take this, obviously. Clan XL Engine. Another double heatsink kit could be a good money grab. I'm not a fan of the speedy legs right now. Think of, but we don't need them. Eh, nah. One bin of plasma ammo for 10 shots. Honestly, one and a half would be nice. Kind of hope that we get the half ton randomly. Clan ER smalls, they are very efficient. Right mouse button to pin this. What? Okay, we can pin the tooltip, but why? Uh, you are you're talking about the Omnifire starter. Like this one, should I just take it? It's not bad being an Omni. We can sell it for good money. There's two LRM 15s as well. Also pretty solid. I think this is good. All right, we get the LRM. Ha ha ha, hell yeah. All right, that's good. That's really good. Ah, and smaller resolutions ping pinning lets you scroll. Yeah, sometimes you have these like super long lists. Ah, I gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, this is helpful, very helpful. Okay. Ammo explodes. Don't have too much of it. Also, don't run out of ammo. But you do you, Chief. Children playing outside. Upper recoil quick cells. Not limited to the arm it is in. Yeah, but we don't need recoil reduction. Not right now. So I was rather picking something that's immediately helpful. So... You love Omni-Mech Firestarters. Great little mechs. 
I think we are beyond that, actually. I mean, yeah, they are not bad, but we got 55 tonner, so why would we run the 45 tonner? We'll take a look. Technically, it's better than Irby. Technically. And yes, we could bring the rifles over. Oh, maybe it is better than Irby. Oh, no. Oh, what are we doing here? What are we doing with this guy? The omni nature of it all. Hmm. 270. Wow, that's a big engine. Huh. So, it, it, I guess it's supposed to be an energy boat. So if you max the armor, we could just bring all the medium lasers that we ever that we could ever kill. No, no, we are not doing the energy thing. Ho, oh, hold up. Data transfer complete. Hold up, Hashtag guys. Bra broke incoming. What is this? We got all the max shots in the world. This could be something. We have so many max shots, my friends. And then we're gonna pair it with, I don't know, medium lasers or so. That would be good. Drop dynamics, hashtag Barra Broke incoming. I mean, if you're keeping doing that, it's it's not. <laughs> Thank you for the 23 months. I, I know that it has singles right now, I'm aware, but is this good? Is it worth building? We can even use the lower arms. Ah, uh, we don't have another one. Yeah, okay, fine. Huh. I'm conflicted here. We have two more mag shots that are sitting on the... Mm, on the Phoenix Hawk. I would tot totally drop the flamers here. 100%. Give it a... whatever. Double... Oh, proto heatsink kit? I mean, it fits. Why are we so... We have zero Alpha Strike Heat. Why? That shouldn't work. The max shots deliver one. Hmm. So we should have a heat of six, technically. I don't know. Maybe it's because of some, like, repair shenanigans that are not working correctly. I am willing to test this. I'm also willing to say thank you to Dr. Bois. Thank you for the Prime sub. I think it... Oh, it's mad that the double heatsink is still sitting there. That's right. Thank you. Nah. Still broken. Oh, okay. Um, we're gonna... Sure. Let's let's keep the max shots in already. It's fine. This is where we go. <laughs> it is also just, just a 45 tonner. So... Is it time to say goodbye to the Phoenix Hawk? It might be, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Light engine... Uh, yeah, t totally. Absolutely. The defensive gyro is a thing that I am a little bit sad about, but hey. It, it gives us a build option, and I want to discover this. I want to explore this a little bit. Alright, here we go. The people like us now. It's great. Okay. And the funny thing is that we still got 3 million seabills lying around. <laughs> I could also put the light rifles on the fire starter. You're not wrong there. You are absolutely not wrong. But when we take a look at our friend... Where, where is he? Braver. Uh, he has 12 out of 20 uh, affinity. Because if he gets to 20 on the urban mag, we're gonna get uh, arm-mounted accuracy. Plus two arm-mounted accuracy, plus one piloting, plus one gunnery, which is fantastic. I really don't want to give it up. <laughs> How heavy are these? Two tons only. This might be it. This might be the ultra-light rotary plus max shot shenanigans. Only right arm? Really? I thought it was arm. Oh, it's right arm. Okay, you're right. Right arm. It's probably worth transferring now. I feel bad for Irby. I really do. 
Um, do we wait for rebuilding? I think we are ready to fight another fight with our current squad. And uh, I want to do it. So we have a new full month that we can play around with. Go to duel. We got... Three and a half target acquisition. But I hate target acquisition. Ugh. Feels bad, man. I think we go for this. It's against the Draconis combined, though. I hate it. Ah, all of it is. Got unlucky with the distribution. Think I'll play it anyways. Sorry, friends. I mean, as long... As long as we are fine and making progress, we can afford a little bit of a dip every now and then. Are there any pirates against locals? I don't think so, no. Alright, here we go. Same squad. What I do want is another vehicle, honestly. I think uh, filling up the sixth slot with something would be great. It would be really nice. By the way, how did we get our hands on the party truck? Was there like 5 out of 5 salvage? How did that happen? No, it was because there was two party trucks. Uh, yes, and one of them was a disco laser truck and the other one was a pepper box rifle truck. And then we combined them together. We got very lucky there that we had so many parts. And we had the salvage rights at the same time. You hate target acquisition too, very annoying, particularly the overpowered kill squad in the end. I I just don't like it because there is that you gotta escape now situation. And uh, if you have mechs that are too slow, you, you just don't get there in time and you have to deal with the kill squad. It, it draws the game out so much, that's the thing. It's not about the difficulty, it's about the, the time investment that you have to put into a single mission, more than that. Go all money, target acquisition, only veto, go in, mark, run. Yeah, that's that's an option. If you have the, the fast movers to get it done, absolutely. Also, um, there is a certain biome. It's Badlands, I believe, uh, where blackouts are kind of bad. Because there is so much walking. There is so much walking included without you doing anything. And just organizing your units and clicking clicking at the ground is not fun. Especially when you have AI friendlies with you, which take forever to decide. Oh, hate that. It's like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes downtime where you're not doing, where you're not actively playing the game. No decision making. This is not great. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons and urban online. biomes. Oh, God. All, <laughs> All right. Quickly checking a message here. Give me a sec. And... Okay. So here we are. We got two bases. Um. Can we can we drop on a on a single front, like behind them, or on the flank, where we don't have to face everybody at the same time? I think this is gonna be my vector. Right here. Oh, uh, they also got a support lance. Okay, so Wolverine, Chameleon, Dervish, Firestarter, Aswang, a Raven. Oh boy, that's a lot, man. Do we have enough ammo for all of this? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, let's sprint through the, the spore cloud and be safe. The camera is gonna be a problem and the S-Wang is gonna be a problem that I can tell you. Look at all of these things. It's just just so much firepower sitting there. On with the DNI. Here we go. More fire starter. Maxime. Alright. What is it already? Boy, I really have to feel that we want to start our supercharger from the get-go and just sprint to the front line with our yeah perfect with our hatchet man so we can get as many physical attacks out as possible it's a very efficient way to deal damage to the enemy so let's maximize that mm -hmm. six evasion plus cover plus brace seems good oh also we should make use of the minefield 
Should be good in this area. Strider, don't care. Actually, maybe I should. MML7. Alright. I think our best bet, because we have so many enemies, would be trying to take anything that we can get down quickly. Going for the low-hanging fruits. By the way, Clan Dervish. Oh, oh boy. Alright. Interesting. We found our salvage. Possibly. Chameleon coming in. Nice. Maxime. What's the Raven? LRM 15 Longfire Narc. Ooh. Nasty. The amount of firepower is too damn high. We need to bring it down. We gotta do it quickly. Could try to attack the Chameleon. But what I want is... Yeah, I want to bring the mines down. Let's do it. Drop him. I might run out of ammo. So we... we we're not going all in with the damage. Yeah. It's all about the minefield and nothing else right now. Oh, what? That's a weird spread. Okay. Hmm. 69%, but we only deal 2 damage per missile. That's bad. It's really bad. Oh wait, the Chameleon is a very good target for us, so we'll try. Yeah, that's 4 damage per. Go for the Chameleon, get some damage out. You got AMS, but that's okay. What we have is initiative. Firestarter running. Yes. Crap, it's just a charge! It's not what I'm here for. Let's reserve. I kind of hope that the Chameleon is coming a little bit closer. Maybe the Strider or whatever. So we hold our defensive position that we have. Mm, same here. Same here. There's nothing that we can do. There's like no impact. No big impact. Starter is running. Alright. This is the difficult mission. I was complaining too hard for a quick mission. <laughs> Alright. Turn 14. Strider's running. Not shooting. Good. Four light landmines exploded. Six armor damage to each leg. That's alright. Chimera. Oh, prepare for damage. It hurts. It hurts our little Irby. Kind of hope that we can keep our guns. Will Bara lose a vehicle and or mech? Possibly. I think I might lose a component here. At the very least. What is it already? This might be the time where we go in for the kill on the Chimera. Sure. It's a pretty good chance to hit. Let's uh, let's do it. Take this. Please hit. Yes. Ooh, we didn't chop completely, but there's follow up. And I think we got lucky here, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. One punch, one kill. This is where we have to go. This is a, this is the battle plan, guys. Cool thing is, by the way, uh, thanks to our Juggernaut ability, we are braced after the attack, and we. Bleh. Still have six evasion. Oh, I don't dare looking. Oh, oh no! See, that's the problem with all of these max shots and everything. It's dangerous. I said it earlier, and I'm gonna stand by my decision. I need to get this guy down. By the way, Chimera... Oh, it's a triple large laser setup. <sighs> Got the Wang down. That's good. That's really good. We could potentially salvage more mag shots, but we are lacking the hard points, actually. We have a total of, let me think, seven Omni hard points on the fire starter, maybe an eighth on the head. Like two in the center, I know. One on each side also makes four. Two on the left arm makes six. 
Three on the right arm makes nine, actually. Did I count that right? Two, four, six, nine? Maybe, maybe it has ten? Because there might be one in the head? Ten max shots? You can see, you could just see what the, the Wang was doing to us, right? Alright. Mm. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We finished the Wang. Yeah, and bring another target to the front. Trying to uh, shield the hatchet man a little. And we go for a kill shot here. And I think we did get it. Okay. Looking good. Radical compact heatsink kit. Uh huh. Yeah, I believe this is gonna hurt though. Hmm. I mean, the party truck can take a beating, but I would rather not lose it. So, leave it leave it alone, guys. What's the Wolvie loading? One ballistic, one energy, one missile. So it's a 6R, AC5, medium laser, SRM uh, 6, right? That's the, that's the build. Good. Full miss. <laughs> that is what we needed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What now? I really feel like the chameleon needs to go. So we'll try to push it a bit. This time, all in. Six shots on each gun. I'm looking for the stability. And we did get it. Nice. What is it already? You're not able to go for a melee attack. Hmm. Hmm. That means I'm gonna hold? Let's reserve this. See where this is going. Could be that Mr. Dervish is coming a bit closer. Maybe. We'll see. And we still have our Wolverine who can get into the water and get the Chameleon down, possibly. He is unsteady and we have a lot of stability damage coming from the missiles. And like, raw damage as well. Should be good. Should be a kill. That is a problem, though. Uh-oh. Irby with the low... the low health. Uh-oh. The supercharger on the hatchet man? Still on, right? Supercharging only helps you with sprinting. We need move instead of sprint capabilities. The raven. It's perfect. Yes. Beacon LRM. Oh. Oh. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's get in here. Go for the kill shot. Down he goes. All right. All right. That's good. Every enemy down is a good enemy. We also got to think about the left side of our hatchet, man. Uh, wait. This is XL, right? Uh, oh, this is regular XL. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um... Oh my god, how do we play this? One damage only against the Dervish? That's not good enough. Let's go for him. Him is the Wolverine. Do what we can. They just have too much Rewind. stuff here. <sighs> I'm not happy. I'm not pleased with what I see. And honestly, I think if the Dervish decides to go to the left, like, if he moves here and attacks me, this is it. This is the end of the Hatchet Man. Yes. Is this a repositioning turn where I'm not attacking? That feels bad as well. It feels really bad. Can I attack the Raven? A uh, fire starter? I could. Hmm. I gotta think. What do you want? I think it's too risky leaving him there. Yeah, I know the supercharger is on, guys. I know. But if I start doing something with it now, I'm locked into this turn and I wonder if I should reserve again. I think I might want to reserve again. 
Holding. If we can get behind the dervish with the party truck and get him down, we have a completely different uh, shift of battlefield. Uh huh. It's Irby again. Irby getting crit now. I guess we're gonna say goodbye to these rifles. So, party truck. You gotta fix this problem. Now. Hi. Fixed it! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That that's that's helpful. That's really helpful. Okay. <laughs> nice. Alright. There's a Wolverine still standing. That is very dangerous to Irby and our hatchet man. But I feel like the party truck is now attracting a lot of fire in general, right? Oh. Armor going low. Alright. Turn eleven. The heads are... Yeah. This sucks. Heads are gonna heads. So, last guy will be... Auto Cannon 5 might tear us apart. It's the, the best match. Wolvie on Wolvie action. Sure. We'll take it. What is it already? Okay. Mm-hmm. Where to go with it? Where to go? What is it I mean, already? I'm gonna turn off the supercharger now because that is a thing that makes a lot of sense. Correct? Let's jump around a little bit. Show our right Jetpack. side to the enemy here and get a shot out on uh, the Strider, I guess. Sure, why not? Gun, gun, gun. It's okay. I don't like the hatchet man being on the flank alone here, but again, we have the jump going on, so that's okay. That's cool. Hello, Smoke Jaguar. How's it going? Just thought I'd drop in. It's very nice of you. Yeah, I'm having a good day today. We had some very good and easy missions, but now the heat is on. Like, really on. I want to sprint and do this. Showing my right side a bit more to the enemy. Nice attack! Okay, we don't have to worry about that guy anymore. Oh man, the efficiency is on our side. That I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Damage spreads. We are running single... Like, uh, standard, standard engine? Standard, yeah, we got it. Okay. Backshot on the fire starter is a great opportunity that I am 100% willing to take. Let's move up here and uh, go for it. Hmm, it's not quite there. We got happy. So we are not happy yet, but we got happy. And we got nine mines that we run would run over. Okay, I'll take it. It's a bit of damage, I know, but party truck for the rescue. It's a great opportunity that we cannot let just pass. It's not a kill, but I would say it's good enough, because that thing is down to one health on the center, of course he would be. Yeah, it's fine, he has only a flamer left. This is A-OK. -okay. This is not. Uh-oh. Dr. Bones in the house. Thank you for the second month. Thank you for the resub. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a prime sub here. Thank you for using your free sub of the month on my channel. Appreciate it. Hmm. I could finish him. At the same time, I don't really care about that single flamer. Let's go for the strider instead. I'm thinking about the infernos here. Bit of fire in the forest. It's kind of helping. Take away their cover, make it so that they overheat more. Let's go. Part of me really wants to get the the chopper, the, the hatchet man in there, but I should not. Ow. Ow. 
Yeah, that's the spot where Irby is in actual danger. In real danger. Right side twist. Let's roll. Let's roll. Fire. Guns on target. Turn 11 is Strider, turn 8 the Raven, and then we still have the Maxime with a good chunk of SRMs and LRMs here. Yeah. Right. So that's doable. That was just the MML7 from the Strider, so no big deal. Mm hmm. Oh, party truck. Party truck is in danger as well. We gotta take him out of harm's way. Now. Immediately. Oh. Plan ERPPC on the hillside. Like, where was it? Who was it? Who are you? What is that? Roku? Roku? B? Roku? 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 Mm. Upper leg destroyed. Oh, Irby. Oh, Irby. Oh, Irby. Okay. Maxime has a lot of armor. I don't like that. We might be better off taking down the Raven. That's the Hetz. Hetz is also pretty armored. Uh, oh boy. Okay. We're gonna present some more targets. That's for sure. Part of me really wants to go for the Raven. Maybe I should. Let's do it. Ravens are squishy. So there's that. Any chance we are standing next to the primary recovery point? Yes, we are. Is this the Roku guy? Weird. Data transfer complete. Okay. We need cover and we need it now. Oh god. Where do we go with this? Where do we go? I mean, I could take cover here, but it's not gonna work. The only thing I have is a bit of distance. But we showed our left side a bit more. Oh, this is difficult. Uh, Phil, thank you for the 62. 62 months, man. Thank you very much, Phil. <laughs> um, yeah, there is no safe spot. Not No real safe spot. I don't like it. We gotta make a decision though. Seven evasion. Is this good enough? Again, we have the distance. I mean, this might be good enough. Let's get back to cover completely and just kill that guy. Whatever. Alright, here we go. Just keep him safe and see what we can do with the other guys. Raven got AMS. I don't know if he has AMS or not. Uh, it might be, yeah. Okay. The starter of fires. Oh no. Herbie, live! Don't die! That's good. That is very good. Mm, yes, I will run over the mines, but I don't care really. I want to get into the fight now. Get you in there, get vigilant, and then attack the raven for a little bit more damage? Question mark? I'd say, yeah. Let's go for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Okay. I need safe. Safe spot. Where, where's safe spot? We don't have safe spot. Again, the only thing we have is distance currently. So, I'm um, gonna do that. Let's go. Let's go. Brace. <laughs> Makes no sense. Makes no difference. Cool. So, um, here, we obviously go for a physical attack. Moving. Let's go. Take this. That was a miss, right? Oh, we missed. <gasps> no. My butt cheeks are clenched. Clips empty. That's really bad. Taking we damage. needed that kill. Bad. 
<laughs> huh? It's good. The Wolvi and the Dervish are the ones that still have armor. They, they need to be our tanks. And we have used up all of our activations, so let's see what the headset is gonna do. Sure. We're gonna get punished. I have no idea what the Roku guy is. This guy here. It's also the Raven still. Mm, he found an angle on the party truck. He's only shooting sensor mines though, that's good. But for some reason we got an injury out. Okay, okay. Good. I cannot... Ah, I wanted to say I cannot attack the Raven unless I run over here. It's probably not my best bet anyways. See, the Maxime has not moved. So he's a good target. Let's go there. And we, we still got some Infernos, which deal extra damage against vehicles. This, this might be our call here. Oh, that was nothing at all. Crap. Regards. I'm aware I'm running into rough terrain. But we're gonna take the Raven down. Oh, we don't. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, another attempt for a physical weapon attack. We have so many individual fights going on. Holy crap, Aroni. Take this. This is another miss. I cannot believe it. This no, no way. We're getting x would here. Oh, freaking hell, we needed that guy out now. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Help. Please, somebody. Could do that. Sure. Let's go. Data transfer complete. It's not enough. We got some stray shots, but I think they were fine. Taking damage. Taking damage. Uh. Irby jump. Jump, jump, jump around. We're gonna make a wide berth around to the left side, trying to maybe get into the fight again at some point when the heat is a little bit lower. Beer Daddy, thanks for the tier 1 sub, man. Thank you so much for the 30 months. This is difficult. Okay, Dervish attack is nice. It's what we need. I mean, over time, they will also deal, deal enough damage for it to fall apart. But the time is not now, not yet. I'm afraid of the tanks here. This is not good. The heads I needed to go, like, ages ago. Sneaky little bastard. All right. Interesting. I mean, he's bound to die next round, but still. He is Roku. This looks like a little Orion, and he has one energy weapon, which is the PPC, huh? Look at this guy. Data transfer complete. There is Jotby. I hope. Or Jotby. <laughs> Thanks for the two months. Thank you very much. And Gamuth has also resub not resubscribed, a fresh subscriber here. Thank you so much for that. That's very nice. Ah! Yeah, the chip damage. The chip damage. It chips away relentlessly. Another one. Maxime, do your thing. Not feeling good here. It's an ERPPC and a sword that the thing has? Cool. Sword is not shown, but thanks. I wanna get in there again. Even if we lose him, I think it's gonna be worth. So we could go over here and help out against the Raven. Let's try. Maybe we can take it and our Wolvie would be free for some other shenanigans then. Alright, that's good. 
We broke line of sight to everybody else. Now we need to take the pesky missiles out, so party truck is not getting killed indirectly. I don't know. Good news is, Hatchet Man has higher initiative than the Strider, so maybe we get him down before he can do a thing. Ugh. Tank it, baby, tank it. MRM-30. Oh, so that's why. Roku is coming in. He misses. Third time's the charm for the Hatchet Man. We'll see. What is it already? Physical weapon attack, 80% chance. Let's go. Moving. Come on. Take this. It's a hit. Not a good one though. Ha. Huh. Good hit man. Ah, uh, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> it did nothing. Damn. Literally yes. nothing. <laughs> Fine. Strider. Yeah, it's still holding together. Barely. Hmm. I hate my hit chances. I really do. Why, why is it so bad? Give me a sec. What if we target you? Weapon accuracy. Weapon accuracy plus three? What happened? Long range height difference. Why, why is my SRM less accurate here? What does it mean? Party truck is down to hardened leather armor. <laughs> yeah, kind of. We have firecrackers and thunder A on the ground. I think I need to jump this. No, I cannot. I need to move. Oh. I need to shake up the stability damage. This is my problem. Stay on the Maxime. It'll take a while. Guess. The headset needs to go as well, that's the problem. So what what if what if I did this? 32% on everything. It's better. Okay, see what's coming. Oh no. 31 armor damage. Mm, yeah, it hurts. Okay. Weapon accuracy plus three. Fine! Let's go and shoot. It'll take a while that I can tell you guys. Hmm. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay, we have Hydra, but <laughs> it's our last Alpha Strike. So I believe next round we will kill. Oh. Weapon accuracy might be the biome. This could be it, yeah. Good news is, we dodged most of these missiles. Oh, 18 extra heat. Interesting. My goal is to just survive here. Let nobody die. Is this smart? I think we're gonna leave Irby where he is right now. He has no impact on the battlefield anyways. Mm. Party truck. Need to help. But there is no help. We gotta hold. 16 against 15. We are always one initiative, initiative higher than the Strider. That's our benefit here. But we just need to hit properly. Fair enough. Oh man. Oh man. My goal is to not lose a component here. Huh. Okay. It's eight evasion, but we would run over more mines. I can take five. I can take four. I'm not happy. That I can tell you. I'll take the jump. Let's get up high. We're gonna fill up that stability T-bar and maybe get a kill here. Come on, baby. Yes. Good. Very nice. Alright, another one bites the dust. Yes. 
The eternal fight against the Strider continues. Physical weapon attack, 80% chance. Here we go. We hit the leg. But the wrong leg. Now what? He lives. Yeah, he lives. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> in freaking credible. Yeah, I, I, I could do this. Oh, I could also do this. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the follow-up that we need? Herbie for the rescue? Oh, don't get killed, buddy. Just don't get killed. Let's do it. Come on. I mean, it worked. The question is, at what cost? He's not knocked. Well, it's it's a thing I wanted. Also, I should have gone vigilant. Mm-hmm. Strider's running, though. Okay. Okay, we're getting there, guys. Slowly. But very surely. Sprint for three, get the head, sir. I think this is my... Oh, wait. I wanted to say it's my goal, but we are down to Hydra ammo, which deals basically no damage. Hmm. It's weird. Let's try to overheat the Roku. Keep his, LR, his PPC a bit silent. It's heat. It helps, hopefully. And then we're gonna give him a turn and decide what we're gonna do from that point on. Oh boy. Yeah, these SRMs, uh, MRMs. Most of them actually hit here. Okay. Depending on the Roku's accuracy, we also get punished. Okay, fine. Maybe standing in the fire is actually good here. <laughs> Alright, but he he is still hot. And that's something that we can work with. We can be extremely sneaky. Let's go. We need Vigilance for high initiative next round. This here also generates heat. As well as damage. Hey! <laughs> Follow him! Let's go! Oh man, I can't believe it. Uh, let's try to get the Strider finally. Alright, we got we got a side torso. Finally. Oh boy, so what's left? We have a fire starter, we have the Roku, we have the Hetzer. Okay. And Happy wins the initiative here. So, yeah. I think I have to sprint him away again. Okay, here we go. Um, done. Um, Irby is gonna jump. Breaks line of sight, that's it. Alright, we're getting there. He probably died of old age. Kind of, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So here's the thing. If I jump again, I might be getting a little bit unsteady. Can we kill this? Not in one go, I believe. No. Uh, hmm. It's tough. Roku, by the way, put himself into a submissive state. He's like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> it's fine. Um, do we want to overheat the fire starter then? Tough choice. I don't want to get any of these um, uh, MRM barrages anymore. So we do this. We switch flank. Go for a hydra shot on the fire starter. Maybe overheat him a little bit. Yeah, just a bit. Okay. So we're out of LRM ammo. Thing is, I don't want to get knocked down. So we have to wait here. 
Yeah. Hurts me to say, but we actually have to wait. Fire starter confused. That's good. We completely have them surrounded. He will make me unsteady if I if I jump. No, I have to wait. Mm, the hesitation. Don't like it. Where does that come from? What? Wait, hold up. It was the headset. I think he had an LRM5. Oh, yes. Okay, so now we can take the jump. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's get up here. Hello. And now we're gonna go for it. This is not enough by far. Oh, boy. The right side twist is fantastic, though. Uh, yeah, let's go vigilant. Why not? And attack him. Hmm, maybe? Light rotary? Light rotary could kill here. Do we have to follow up? We do have to follow up from the dervish. Okay, let's just push this. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the fire starter in the back. All right. We have the dervish. Oh, crap. We have nothing to shoot anymore. That's the thing I forgot. Oh, out of ammo. Come on, lucky shot. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Then... Are we even going in with the disco lasers? Nah, we could lose a pilot here. I'm not. Let's let's reserve. Happy. It's fine. Oh, we can go for a melee attack? Yes, it's a kick. Oh, I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. And we hit it. This is where they go down! Eh? No? Fine. Fine, you get another turn. Alright, let's see. Roku is running. Yeah! Okay! Turn code, just switch sides. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it, man. I will take that. Holy crap, I think we won. I think we won, guys. Recruit that pilot. <laughs> Okay, hatchet man, hatchet man. That's whatever a hatchet man does. Which is, uh, I guess, jumping around. Jets activated. Uh, I will use my guardian ECM in active mode, so he's scrambled. We're gonna try to shoot the crap out of this guy. Wow. What is that, a grammar nerd? I always say variety instead of variant. Do I? Am I making mistakes? Correct me if I'm wrong. Seventy-five damage rips my side torso or my leg. Eh, eh. We're gonna stay in cover. Same. I mean, you can go in, but nah. It's fine if he attacks the top liner. No, there's no chance to kill him right now. Let's see. Roku, don't do anything bad. Thank you. Good. Why do we have such a bad hit chance? Size delta enemy effects into forest. What is that enemy effect? Is he stealthed or something? Okay. Hold up. If so, I should probably try to go for an EWS ping here. Let me try that. Oh, negative two evasion is also pretty spicy. Yeah, still. Enemy effect plus four. What the hell is wrong with you? So weird. Okay.
So is it worth the shot? It might be. Let's make sure you're a bit faster next round so you can dive back to cover. But this is the last damage that our urban mech can do. What an incredible mission, man. And we are not done. We are still endangered of getting a stray shot somewhere. Is it already? So bad. I actually want to jump down here. I want to I wanna give the hatchet man the attack. Actually, maybe that's not a good idea. No, should be the wolvie, obviously. Ah, oh, okay then. Get up the high ground. Uh, let's get defended. I don't know. What's party trucks initiative? More than 11. Okay, fine. I see red numbers and I like it. So crazy. Just trying to get that PPC out. But hey, we got a we got an injury. Back to cover. Perfect. Um, so here's the question. Do we push it or do we not push it? Wait, we don't have line of sight to him right now, it seems. Right? Yes. So we are in cover. That means if I reserve, it's going to take a turn and I can still attack him this round. This is ideal. All right. Good. Push it real good. Yeah, 48%. Mm hmm. Oh, and we got him down. Man, we worked hard for that. Oh, yeah, the damage distribution and everything. That was crazy. Let's jump down here. Okay. And I guess we're gonna use our hatchet man to jump to the high ground. Yeah. Jets activate. Okay. Everybody else, chill. Chill. We're good. We're fine. We got the primary target. We're gonna just use you, my friend. Two jumps, and we are getting out of here. Holy macaroni. Was it the spore cloud? Oh, it could have been. The enemy yes. effects? Yeah, possibly. Good! Didn't lose a component. Yes, we were crit, but there was nothing major damaged. <laughs> oh, I'm happy. That was that was a good um a good challenge as well. So yeah. Could have turned into a real meat grinder. The how to say it? Um the fact that we ran out of ammo there on two mechs actually was scary. Yeah. Remove the mediums on the dervish, just more more ammo? Hmm, possibly. Streamer luck? That was pure skill. Come on. Don't play down my 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 gameplay here. And there was a bit of luck, I agree. But hey, the Cougar. Mm-mm. Yes, please. AR-20 Warfare Suite. It's an alright thing to have. This guy comes with a void system as well. Targeting computer mark 2. One gu uh, gunnery, one evasion. Welcome. Optics battle computer. Hold up! Optics still has all of the goodies! Oh my god! That is a major buff to this, to this battle computer now. Because advanced optics is worse. That is amazing. We got gunnery as well. Small advanced cockpit. Tracking critical. More mag shots. Sure, why not? I kind of want this. Seems like a very good priority pick. Chameleon, let me take a look at you, my friend. What about you? You're broken. I don't care. Chimera. XL gyro. Nothing special. A two-ton sword, who cares? And a C3 slave. It's the snub nose PPC that we were talking about earlier. Uh, yeah, that was the Chimera. The Dervish. Oh my god, the Dervish. I think it's kind of fresh, right? Reinforced ballistic armor. 50% resistance to ballistic and missile attacks. That's why he was so tough to crack. He would only get one damage from our missile weapons. Um, the... Engine is broken. We would get a Streak 2 clan. Two LRM 10 clan and the ammo for it. 
I don't think it's worth it. It's probably... It's a Dervish. It's a 55 tonner, yes, but no. Then we got this... Omni Fire Starter. Not too interesting. Oh god, everything is in, in good shape here. Crap. But the Raven is not interesting either. Here's Roku. Let me take a look at Roku. What, what are you? You are a light mech. Took a long time to take you down though. XL Engine, XL Gyro. That's a 3 ton sword. And the Clan ERPPC, a supercharger as well. A Guardian ECM. Gotcha. Okay, MRM30 is very interesting. It's a crazy loot table. I think I, I have already made up my mind. I think I want the... The Cougar, right? You had the battle computers? Exactly. So you're gonna be my primary pick. Um, then we're gonna... Disassemble everything. Yes, good. Also, where's the music? The music is gone. Mm. All right, after disassembling, we want technically these LRMs. Got three more picks. Actuator enhancement system. Wait, that's the Omni, uh, Omni actuator bonus, right? Negative one recoil. Ooh. Plus one accuracy. Negative one recoil for Omnimax. It's not just for Omnis, really? Sounds good, man. I kind of want this. Come sweet is fine. Lots of endo. Guardian ECM would be fine. Have it on everybody. Spiked, I don't care. Hmm. Here's the thing. Oh, there's a snub nose. Um... There's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, and we have... How many picks left? Three? So I could take the stack of LRM10s, both of them, right? Ah, no, doesn't work. So we have two more priority picks. That is it. Two picks. And then I'm not gonna take these LRMs. It's not gonna be worth it. Street 2, not worth it. I think I'll take the actuator enhancers. Why not? Why not? Makes sense here. So it kind of rounds out our build and I'm happy with it. Holy crap. Oh man. It's good. It's good, guys. But you know what? I'd say that would be the end of today's episode here. That would be the end of today's stream. It is dinner time here where I live and uh, I'm actually getting hungry. So guys, thank you for watching today as per usual. Thank you for uh, subbing and, and, and helping out with like donations and stuff like that. It really means a lot to me. So thank you for that. Um, and yeah, I don't know which video is going to come out today later. I'm a little bit off schedule. Might be a Mac Warrior online video today and not the regular, I think, uh, rogue take that I would normally do today in my rotation but um yeah you you'll see about it um you know what i'm gonna shove you over to violent blue mac on the twitches uh i hope you have fun with her and uh yeah i hope to see you next time goodbye have a great rest of the day cheers <laughs>